Hello everyone, this is Chakrit, and what I have for you today is I'm going to optimize advanced oil processing and cracking in Factorio. Um, so this stems from me wanting to optimize the number of assemblers I needed and uh, the amount of raw resources I need inflowing in an Excel spreadsheet. And that's easy to do for all of the solid items in the game, like all the placeable items, all the craftable items, stuff like that. It's a little more difficult to do with the liquids, with the oils, because uh, you can make heavy oil into light oil and light oil into petroleum, and it's hard to know, uh, like say I just needed petroleum, what's the optimal amount of crude oil that I need? Or say I needed some light and some petroleum, but no heavy oil, what's the optimal amount of crude oil that I need? Um, it's a little difficult to know, and you can't just uh, make it a ratio like you would any normal crafting ratio, like, I don't know, three copper cables to two electronic circuit assemblers. Um, so that it's a little awkward to do. So what we're gonna, so we're gonna figure this out today. So we're gonna make some assumptions. We're gonna say that all of the excess light and heavy oil are gonna be cracked into petroleum. Um, so that's just a choice that I think the most needed resource out of the three is gonna be petroleum and it's the easiest one to break it all down into. So I think that's reasonable. And also like say we need more light and more petroleum, well we're gonna to have to crack the heavy into each of those things anyways. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to minimize the amount of leftover petroleum. And so this kind of stems back to this one is that we're going to put, we're going to break, eventually we're going to break everything down. Um, if, if we need the heavy oil, we're going to craft with it and any excess we're going to break down into light and all of the light oil we have now, uh, we're going to use what we need and then we're going to crack the excess down into petroleum and ultimately we want the smallest amount of leftover petroleum after we craft what we need with that. Um, and this will ultimately minimize the amount of crude oil that we need uh, for our given needs. And then we're going to assume that the ratios are after advanced oil processing research because you can't crack with basic oil processing and um, you should be using advanced anyways because it has better ratios. Um, and finally, we're going to assume infinite water and electricity because we don't really care about that right now. Water's easy to come by, and electricity, will you can optimize that other ways. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to look at the recipes. So here's the advanced oil processing ratios. So for every 10 crude oil that you bring in, you, bring, you get one heavy, uh, four and a half light, and five and a half petrol. Um, and you don't have to take this as a straight equation. You can just break these down into their constituent ratios, uh, mainly because no matter, you you can't just straight turn 10 crude oil into five and a half petroleum. You, you're going to have to make these two anyways, uh, regardless of whether you need them. So you can break these down into their constituent ratios for each uh, element. So the heavy that we get from crude, so the subscript C means we got it from crude, uh, is one-tenth of the amount of crude we bring in. Uh, the light oil we get from crude is uh, 45%, 0 0.45 of the crude oil we bring in. And then the petrol that we get from crude is 55%, 0 0.55 of the crude that we bring in. Uh, then we also have the cracking ratios. Uh, four heavy uh, turns into three light when we crack it. So what we can say is uh, all the light oil that we get from heavy oil, all the light oil we get from cracking, is going to be equal to three quarters the amount of excess heavy oil. So this subscript E is going to be excess or extra. Uh, so this is after. So this is we've taken all the stuff we got in, we've taken all the heavy oil we've gotten in, we've used what we need, and this is what's left over. This is the excess, and we're going to break all of that down into light oil. And similarly, we're going to take all of the excess light oil, and we're going to turn it into petroleum with this recipe with the light oil cracking ratio which turns out to be two-thirds of our excess light. Um, we can also say that uh, say we didn't need any light oil we can also say that four heavy oil turns into two petrol because four heavy turns into three light three light turns into two petrol 
so we can work out the similar ratio where we could say, although this is kind of a fake recipe, we could say that the petrol we get from heavy oil is one half of our excess heavy oil. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take those ratios, those same ones. Uh, that last one I kind of left off, the petrol from heavy, uh, because we don't really need it. It's just kind of there, just as a, <laughs> just kind of fun. We can go back to that later. Um, but basically we've got these three equations here, and let me kind of walk you through them. Uh, this is the heavy we get from crude, right? We've seen that before. And this is our excess heavy oil. Now this subscript N means the amount we need of something. So our heavy oil we need. Um, is, so th this is the heavy oil we need. It's going to be equal to uh, the amount of heavy that we get from crude. And we're going to be left over with some excess. So if we take, so if we move this to the other side, we say heavy from crude minus the heavy we need, we're going to end up with the excess. So this equation kind of holds. Um, similarly, we can say that we have light oil from crude is going to be the light we need plus the light we get from excess, except this isn't the entire amount of light oil we have. We also have some light oil from heavy oil. So we're going to turn this into this term right here. We're going to turn that into this at some point using this ratio. But we're just going to leave it in this form for now so it's easy to look at and easy to understand where we're coming from. Um, and we can do the same thing. We can say that the crude, we, the petrol we get from crude is going to be equal to the petrol we need plus the petrol excess. So all the excess is going to be what's left over. And similarly, we're going to get some petrol from light oil, which is from this term right here. Uh, and that'll be at this ratio later on. And this is going to be all we need to uh, figure this out. Um, now. We're to optimize this, what we're going to say is uh, one of our needs. Uh, so we're going we're going to either need we're going to need each of these. We may need one more than the other. In fact, we're going to need more uh, one than the other. So if we need a certain amount of light oil, that's going to have a certain demand for crude oil, and certain each of these is going to have a certain de respective demand for crude oil. And the minimum amount of crude oil we need is the amount that meets all of these needs. So eventually what we're going to say is uh, that the biggest demand is going to be the optimal amount of crude oil. So if say we have the highest need for light oil, right? then what we're going to say is that we're going to have no excess light oil. right? So if we if we have the biggest demand, then the, we're going to get just enough crude oil so that we have no light oil left over. And because we're making so much crude oil or into light oil, we're also making heavy in petrol. So these needs are going to be met if this has the highest demand. And similarly, if we need the most petrol, these needs are going to be met and we'll have no leftover uh, petrol. And if we need the most heavy, then we're going to have no leftover heavy and we're going to have some light and petrol on the side. Uh, so basically our optimal cases are one of these three where we have no excess heavy oil, no excess light oil, or no excess petrol. So we're going to solve for these three cases. And the first case is pretty simple. We say that the excess heavy is zero. We're going to say that the heavy we get from crude is the heavy you need plus the excess heavy. We know that this term is zero. We plug in our ratio from earlier and we get this equation here, where um, our, for case one, the amount of crude we need is 10 times the amount of heavy we need. And because we're making all of this crude into heavy, we're going to have a bunch of petrol and light oil on the side that's kind of invisible, but that's going to meet those needs regardless because we have the highest demand. We've already said we have the highest demand for crude from heavy oil. Uh, the second case is a little more complicated. So this is the case where we have the most demand for light oil. So we're going to take this equation from earlier. We're going to plug in that this is zero, that this excess term is zero. And here is kind of where it gets funky. So we have the light oil we get from heavy oil. And we're going to say, we're going to use that ratio from earlier where we have three quarters of our excess heavy is going to turn into light oil. And so these terms are replaced. Um, now, 
here, this is from the equation, this is from this equation, where we've got our excess heavy. We subtract this term to the other side, and we get this right here. So we can just sub that in. And now what we do, we, we take all this, and we can solve for, we can sub in our ratios for our crude oil, we can, and we can solve for the amount of crude oil we need in terms of the amount of light oil we need and the amount of heavy oil we need. So this looks kind of like what we want. It's a little ugly, but this is exactly what we want. We want to know how much crude oil we need dependent on our needs of light and heavy oil. And our need for petrol will be satisfied because it's needed less than the light oil. So we're going to make a bunch of petrol on the side and it will be satisfied. Now the third case is where we have the highest demand for petrol. And similarly we can plug in zero, we get that. Um, similarly we can take our ratio from earlier, except this time we're doing light oil cracking. So from light oil into petrol, this term gets subbed in. Our excess from light oil is now this term, which if you look back a page is actually right here where we say that we can subtract this across and then we sub in our light excess right here. And so this is what we get. And then again, we sub in our heavy excess is our heavy crude minus our heavy needed. And I skipped a few steps just to fit it on the page, but it works out to this, where the amount of crude we need dependent on our petrol needs, our light oil needs, and our heavy oil needs is this amount. And this is the case where uh, we have no excess petrol. So basically we're going we're gonna to fulfill our needs for light and heavy oil, and then we're going to crack it down into petroleum. And if you remember that equation from earlier, that kind of fake one where we turned heavy oil into petrol, well, this is kind of what it looks like, right? It was half of heavy oil. So this is a conversion into petrol. This is a conversion into petrol. This is already petrol. So this is all in terms of the amount of petrol we need. We get the amount of crude. Um, so now that we have our three equations, we said earlier that we're going to take the highest demand. So we have our three cases where we have the highest demand for crude from heavy oil, the highest demand for crude from light oil, and the highest demand for crude from petrol. And whichever one has the highest demand is going to be the amount of crude we actually need. So we're going to take the maximum of those three values, and that will give us the amount that we need. And this is the, basically the result, is that we have three equations. You sub in the amounts of each of these oils you need into these three equations. You figure out which one is the biggest, and that's the amount of crude you should be bringing in. Um, a consequence of this is we can also look at uh, you can also look at how much petrol, light oil, and heavy oil you need, and also how much you're actually bringing in to figure out hey, am I actually meeting my demands? So this, this petrol excess, this can be negative if you don't have a high enough crude oil in. So basically this, this is kind of a gauge where if this is less than zero, then you need more crude oil. If it's exactly zero, you're optimal. And if it's greater than zero, that means that you have a little leeway, you have a little buffer that you could be making different stuff with. You could be using it for solid fuel or more advanced circuits or whatever. Uh, so when this is greater than zero, you have an excess. Less than zero, you have a deficit and you should be getting more oil in. Um, and that's basically it. And we can also kind of look at it, let's say we didn't have any need for we can, we can sub in needs equals zero for each, on each of these. So we can kind of say, well, what if we didn't need any light oil and we didn't need any he heavy oil and we're just needing petrol? Well, then we know that the amount of crude we need is 10 ninths the amount of petrol we need. So we're get so basically, if you're converting all of your crude oil into petroleum, you're getting 90% of it back. You're getting, so if you put in 100 crude oil 
and you don't need any lighter heavy oil, you're going to get 90 petroleum out of that. And you can look at it here too, I mean this is a little awkward to deal with, but let's say you just needed heavy oil, well yeah, let's say you just needed heavy oil, well then you need a 10 to 1, or, and let's say you just needed light oil, you could kind of look at this, sub in zero here, you get 40 over 21, so 21 fortieths of your crude oil is going to turn into light oil if you just needed that. Um, so it, it works. It, it works no matter what, uh, no matter what your needs are. Uh, one of these three is going to be bigger than the others. They occasionally will be equal to each other, but that doesn't really matter. That just means that you're even more optimal. Uh, and yeah, so that'll, that'll be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll put these in the description. Uh, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.